Yeah. Hilarious, isn't it, really? I was hoping that, um, I'd... Yeah, one point of damage, but... Wow, these things are easy. There is a significant lack of, of, of challenge with these things. One star shield hit. I don't know you're using a, a heavy two handed weapon with one hand. That's no excuse to not hit things. Basically, those guys had no chance. Ooh, random food. Okay, remember, we we dish out the um, the tasty tasty snail meat, snail meat, turtle meat. That's what I'm talking about, turtle meat. Although you like your cheese, so you're gonna eat cheese because cheese is your thing. Shiny, shiny. There we go. Now I've gotten rid of all the undead. Ah. Ooh. That was a bit random. Maybe they're like the teleporters, aren't they? So So that opens. Then that opens, then that opens. And that was the other way around. Pressure plates. Okay, that, that kind of worked. Right, let's put. Now that I've kind of used. <laughs> not used up. Now that I've used those, let's put some useless things like. Um, packed more provisions thing. Um, there's like a load of things that we just don't need. Buried some of it. Yeah. Ooh, hello. There's just lots of bars. Oh. Just so that we don't get trapped. Oh, hello. They're coming up behind, but... There are a lot of these horrible things. Oh wow, you just died horribly. I do apologize for your untimely death. 
You'll be fine. Don't worry. You'll be fine. I mean, they are easy, but yeah, doesn't mean to say that they can't kill you. Silo and see something. Look where he looks and be patient. Every night the silent Because isn't there one of the um Necromancer's potion. Two black moss. Alchemy level five. Wow. That's um that requires a hell of a lot of skill. And that black moss, I don't think that I've got it used for anything else. That's it, isn't it? Well, it'd be interesting to see what that does. Yes, yes, he's dead. <laughs> He'll be fine. He'll be absolutely fine. You've got a good stabbing arm, Steve. You're basically ducking in between Star Shield's legs and stabbing the thing in the ankles. So that's what basically you're doing. Got more accuracy than the big oak, anyway. That's just that. Um. Okay, well, we've killed all them. Maybe we should go and resurrect our resident rogue assassin type person. You know what, it's not going to take, it's not going to be difficult to, to get there, is it? Let's do it. Oh my good grief. Now we've got all kinds of stuff wandering around, unwelcome. I don't like that. See, I remember the good old days of these games. You see, in the eye of the beholder, the original one, when you died, your party member died, you were really in trouble. Because there were no crystals like that that resurrected everybody and healed everybody. You basically... Why am I going that way? In fact, actually... Suddenly, just a lot more enemies. Yeah, there's just a lot more enemies here. I like that sound. Get through here, unfortunately. Eh? 
Damn it. They're ripping you apart again. Damn it. Why are they ripping him apart? Stop dying, man. Ah. You're just not agile enough to stay out of death's way. And now, wow, well, this is all doomed and deaded and drained. Come on, hurry up, Crystal. Don't make me wait here. Don't make me, don't make me come over there. Hmm. Well, I know that they charge up relatively quickly. I know that. You might ask me how I know that. Because I'm pretty sure I've kind of saved one, gone through somewhere, then sort of come back, gone past it and seen it kind of come back to life. Not this particular one, but I imagine they all kind of charge the same sort of speed. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Come on, we have a dead dude. Come on, Phantom, wake up. Maybe we need to get you more armor skill. I mean, your evasion just doesn't quite cut it. Okay. This time, try and stay alive. Right, now where do we actually need to go? Ah, there is a, a, a way through here that we've not been to yet. But yeah, I will also try and keep an eye, an eye out for you as well. You know, it's, it's sort of my job, isn't it? There it is. Uh, uh, uh. E -e. <laughs> Yeah. What is below here? Ooh. I just want to lower myself down there just to find out. That's kind of weird. So, hmm. Ah, there's a button there. The Bastion of Zeth, exiled from the tomb. It 
See, the thing is... <laughs> yeah. Um, the thing is... I, I, the fact that there's one little, there's one tomb here. Nah, I, nah. Nah, nah. So that's that one. This one is... That one moves... Oh, I'm losing track of which one moves which now, unfortunately. Ah, I'm going to do it myself. I know it. Oh, no, no, no. But I've got to dig it up. Haven't I? I'm going to thread this. Well, well, okay then. One more. Just one more. These are exciting times. We have a scroll of lightning bolt. I figured this one out already. An antidote and a hub key. Yes! We like the hub keys. Um, you see, that's heavy, and, and you know what? It's kind of... Yeah. Um, well, I want to lower myself down, find out what's down here. That's what I want to do. You know it's a big mistake, but you know you know when you get those ideas and and they just you know they're a bad idea, but you you just kind of you kind of don't care. You just you know what you want and you're going to go and take it because well, you kind of can. So yeah. Well, it's, um... Ooh, cheese. You know who likes cheese? Yes, you do. Although you, you, you're also now weighed down heavily by the cheese. Let's give you this snail meat back to you. You need to eat it, but... I'm gonna... Okay, I'll eat it. Right. Ha! Huh. Is there a secret button in here? Secret button, secret button, where for art bow? Secret button, bow art nowhere. Oh. Well, that's. Yeah, but did you. Did you uh. So basically, <laughs> okay, it, they, those probably, the, that door there, it probably just alternates which side you come up each time to kind of, if you fall down, you can't then just get across easier. There was another puzzle like that, wasn't there? Okay, so I've got the gem. Um, oh, there was a bit there that I haven't fully explored yet, which I'm, I'm cool with. Something over there. Something. Something glowy. Look at that. Oh, shinies. Shinies. Oh, I like the shinies. 
I want the shiny. I want the shiny! Give me the shiny! Er. Gimme! I'll find a way around. And then the shiny will be mine. Yes. Yes, it will. Where's the hub key? Hello, hub. Fantastic. Okay. So, it's, um... Actually, then again, why would that bomb hurt them? They're dead. Well, there's no guarantee that they're actually dead. You're gonna end up getting poisoned. Yay! Literally, me. I deserve it. Probably. I'll be fine. I'll just sweat it out, and it's fine. Jacob Riddle, banished from Matola, the famous puzzle right traveled to the Tavern of Worm Flight to start a new life. Efforts were in vain, for in the end he was slain by the river of Eel near the town of Needle. What the f that makes no sense. That just this Banished from Matola, the famous puzzle writer traveled by the to the Tavern of Worm Flight to start a new life. Efforts were in vain for the inn. But in the end, he was slain. Vain and slain. By, by the river of Eel near the town of Needle. Well, time to have your grave dug up, mate. In fairness, you don't want to be a ghoul. I'm just saying. I was going to blast it from afar and then it just went into range anyway. Um, let's put frost bombs there, shall we? I like the fact that these guys are just not, they're not quick enough to uh, sort of turn and attack simultaneously. You know how some enemies are just a pain in the posterior. These guys, not so much. Randall Fjord Walker. He might have been spared of his fate if his promises were as strong as his back. Okay. Doesn't really make a huge amount of sense, but. Oh. Yeah. Duh. It's a weird puzzle. The name... What? Nameless. He refused to die. Well, he appears to be dead now. Undead! Oh, no. Well, and, and, and we've just got some, some bullets. He'll crawl out of that grave soon enough. 